Okay, quick engine test stand update. As you can see, it's all painted. It's been sitting in the spot in the yard for a few days now. We've had mixed weather. We've had rain, we've had sun, we've had a lot of clouds. So really the paint hasn't had a chance to cure 100% yet until right now. So I'm leaving it where it's sitting for the next couple days. Uh, then I gotta uh, give a good rinse down, let it sit for another day or so. I just wanna give this paint the most amount of time I can to cure. As you can see, I've added the gas tank bracket. All the hoops and casings are all in place. The fronts do need a bit of air. I gotta add the cover for right here. For the steering wheel, I do have a cap for the steering wheel. I've added an ignition switch. I just put it back in there. My neighbor down the street who bought the Murray tractor, the one that this machine saved, um, his kid broke the ignition, broke the key off in the ignition switch and really screwed up the ignition switch. So I ended up uh, selling him a good used one. It was actually the one that was supposed to go in here. So this one here is not the greatest, but it will work. So, uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt on it, not nothing major. The plan is on all four holes, or actually it's six holes, seven if you want to include that one, but it's two, two, and two. That's for the different engine combinations that you can put in here, but most just use a standard bolt pattern. But I plan on putting a piece of grill tape over the holes, drill them through, just to try and prevent the scratching that you get from putting an engine in and out when you're trying to move them around to get the holes lined up to get everything mounted in place. This has pretty much nothing underneath. All it really has is just a steering rod. All the tensioners, all that have been taken out and nothing, none of that's ever going back in. So it's basically a blank chassis. I might add some sort of a rear bumper at some point just to cover up the ugliness of the uh, what's left of the transaxle. And I will be adding the throttle back in, headlight switch, possibly a second throttle cable, a long throttle cable to test twin cylinders and a choke. But I haven't fully decided on that as of yet. So if I do do something like that, I'll have to cut the chassis and I'll have to do something with the paint again. So the engine that's first going in here is a single cylinder. So it's gonna get set up for the single cylinder. That's it for right this second. As you can see, it's coming along and looking really, really good. So, I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.